Hi and welcome back to the Wapla Virtual Academy. Um, we're just going to start finishing off our series now on Docker. If you remember in the last video we uh, completed the remote Docker settings and if I just take us back into Wapla now and I'll just quickly remind you of what we did. So here we have our Docker remote settings. You might notice subtly one small difference and that is when we actually quit there that said localhost and you'll see on save the web server URL has automatically been changed to point to the host's IP address and we could if we wanted to carry on at this stage just purely using an IP address but we're, we're a bit more sophisticated than that we're not working on the dark web here we need to have a domain name pointed to that IP address and that's basically what I'm going to cover on this situation or this uh, this video so just so you're aware, I have a very simple index HTML page set up just saying hello world and we can deploy that just simply by pressing deploy that will then open, uh, sorry, upload to our DigitalOcean server. You'll get a little bit of a, a dialogue here. All services are now launched and if I now hit the open and browser, you'll see we've got based on that IP address, we've opened that file and we see the uh, page displayed correctly saying hello world but I say we need to be a little bit more sophisticated than that we need to um, ensure that we've actually got a domain name attached to this so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just pop back into DigitalOcean here I'm not going to use the Wapner Training Core UK domain that I've been using before purely because I want to leave that pointing to its current Wapner hosting um, hosting service. So I'm just going to add a spare domain that I'm used that don't use currently on my control panel to demonstrate how we're going to do this. So there's our droplet. We'll just click on those three dots and click on Add Domain, and very simply we just add the name of. the domain into that box there so made in bellingham dot com bellingham because that's the village in england that i live in not the uh, american one or the south Amer south african one or the australian one um so we'll add that in and there we are we've got our domain added our domain name added and now DigitalOcean is telling us we need to do four things we need to update the name service and we've got to update the a record um, an a record is an ip4 pointer um, as opposed to an ip6 and if i go into Wapler training here um, you can see i haven't actually enabled ip6 uh, for this domain if I did then we'd also have a IP6 address to add to a quad a record that's a, 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 a. if you don't know what one of those is you'll see what that's all about in, in a moment um, so I've just pop back into there just pop back into that domain and I say there is the the four settings that we're going to need to change so this this particular domain is currently hosted on Wapla Hosting. So I'm just going to bring that up here. And I've actually already made these changes. I've done it in advance because uh, as any of you who've dealt with uh, DNS stuff before, it can take uh, a while for the DNS service to replicate. So if I was to uh, make the changes now, I might have to wait quite considerable time before being able to show you the effect. So in the name servers, I have updated the name servers to our DigitalOcean name servers. So that ensures that that domain points over to our DigitalOcean account. And in our DNS, we have actually two A records here. I always do it this way. The straightforward Maiden Bellingham A record, and that's our IP address of our DigitalOcean droplet. I always put a star dot in as well. That covers www dot and any other subdomains that you would care to um, be putting in. If you needed to, then we could we could add another record and a 
quad a record um I know I made in Bellingham there and we will be adding whatever IP6 a bit of terrible spelling there but this is just a demo add our IP6 address in here um, and then we just update that DNS wait a little while um, some DNS replications can only take a matter of minutes sometimes it can take several hours and that would be have now have our made in Bellingham domain linked to our DigitalOcean server and if I'm just uh, type that in then you'll see there we are yep we're showing our hello world domain name the only thing we might want to do now is just pop back into Wappler um, into our project settings into our targets and we can then change our web server URL here to madeinbellingham.com if we save that now if we view that you'll see we're actually using the domain name as opposed to the IP address so that's about it um, just one little thing that I will mention because it's happened to me it might have just been a, a, a glitch it might have been my mistake um, just but at one point I found a little orange warning triangle here and a message saying services weren't running and what had happened was within our target here for some strange reason that had been changed to none um, and I just had to change it back to the Wappler training setting and everything was correct so just a little aside if you see a little warning triangle there a little orange triangle then just check that that setting is correct because that might well be the cause other than that there we go we've got our remote host we've got our domain name linked we can deploy directly to that at the click of a button just by clicking deploy and i think uh, that's a good time to bring this particular video to an end and i hope to see you in my next video